What's going on guys, Justin here, and welcome back to the ninth example video following our course on number theory. Today's video, we're gonna be going over a few examples using Euler's totient function. So let's get straight into it. <clears throat> our first example says, give two examples of reduced residue systems modulo 20. Now we're gonna start off by taking phi of 20. So phi of 20 is equal to 20 times one minus 1 over 2 times 1 minus 1 over 5, as 2 and 5 are the divisors of 20. Now I have a shorthand for how I write the phi function, so I'll go ahead and tell you that now because I'm going to use it for the rest of the video. So instead of writing that whole thing out for the formula, I'll write 20 times 1 half and times 4 over 5. That way I don't have to write extra terms and it makes it easier to calculate, so 20 divided by a half. So let's go ahead and simplify that. We can cancel our 20 and our 2 to get 10, and then cancel our 5 with our 10 to get 2. 2 times 4 is equal to 8. Now, to produce a reduced residue system mod 20, we're going to need 8 entries, and we're going to do that by taking all numbers that are relatively primed to 20 from 1 to 20. So that will be all numbers that do not contain uh, factors of 2 or 5. So that's going to be 1, 3, 7, 9, 11, 13, 17, and 19. Now we wanna give two examples, so that's one example of a reduced residue system on 20. So we can add any multiple of 20 to all of these. So let's just go ahead and add, and add 20 to each of these to get our second system. That'll be 21, 23, 27, 29, 31, 33, 37, and 39. So that completes this example, so let's go on to the next one. So for our second example, we are going to be simplifying these without employing the use of a calculator. So we're going to start with our first one, and we're going to be employing our trick to reduce our exponents by using the totient function. So we're going to start by taking a phi of uh, 21. Now the divisors of 21 are 3 and 7, so that means when we take phi of 21, you're going to have 21 times 2 over 3 times 6 over 7, and that is obviously going to give us 12. So reducing 49 mod 12, well, we know that 4 times 12 is 48, so that's going to give us 1. So 11 to the 49 is, in fact, congruent to 11 mod 21. So for number 2, we have 123 to the 2341st power, and we want to reduce that mod 2021. Now, since we're supposed to do this without a calculator, I don't think we're going to be able to do this the traditional way without having a lot of headache and doing a lot of math on paper. So instead, let's try splitting it up into two halves. So we know the divisors of 2021 are 43 and 47. Um, I know that because uh, Michael's made a lot of videos on the channel using the number 2021 with contest problems. But if you didn't know that, you could very easily test that out. The general rule for exploring to try to find the prime factorization of a number is you first try all the divisibility rules that we've gone over in our number theory videos. But if you cannot find any of those numbers that divide your number, then you take the floor of the square root of your number and try all primes up until that until you find its divisors. So in this case for 2021, uh, 2021 is equal to 43 times 47. So we're going to split this up into 123 to the 2341st mod 43. And we'll do that one first, and then we'll do the 47 one after. So uh, as our general rule is, we're going to want to reduce the base mod 43, and we're going to want to reduce the exponent um, mod phi of 43, but phi of 43 is just equal to 42, as 43 is prime. So let's start with the base. Well, what's 123 going to be mod 43? Well, 43 times 3 is going to be 129, so that's going to be negative 6. So we will have negative 6 to the 2,341st power mod 43. From here, we're going to want to reduce our exponent mod 42, So, but we can't use a calculator, so let's start by trying a number that's going to put us in the ballpark of what we want. Well, we know that uh, 40 times 50 is going to give us 2,000, so let's try a little over 50. Let's try, uh, let's say, 53. So we're going to have 42 times 53. I'm not going to bore you by going through the multiplication, but I will show it here. So that is going to give us 2226. 
So we're going to add two more copies of 42 to that, and 42 times 2 is 84. So adding 84 to that will give us will give us 2310, which means that we know uh, that 2341 is congruent to 31 mod 43. So that gives us negative 6 to the 31st power mod 43. Now from here, you can split up negative 6 to the 31st into a bunch of powers and reduce it as you see fit. I'm not going to go through that because I'm running out of space on this paper. But know that 123 to the 2341st power is congruent to 37 mod 43. And now we will reduce it mod 47. So we will have 123 mod 2341, and we want to reduce that mod 47. Well, like just as before, phi of 47 is going to be equal to 46 as phi of a prime is equal to p minus 1. So we once again want to reduce our exponent mod 46. So let's do the same thing we did before. Let's calculate 50 times 46. Well, we know that 50 times 40 is going to be equal to 2,000, and 50 times 6 is going to be equal to 300. So that'll give us 2,300. So right off the bat, we know that 2,341 is congruent to 41 mod 46. So that reduces our exponent. Reducing our base is much easier. We can see that with simple arithmetic, that's going to be congruent to 29. So that gives us 21 to the 41st power mod 47. Now, once again, I'm not going to simplify this for you, but I will tell you the answer so that you can do it on your own. This is going to be congruent to 40 mod 47. And so you may be asking yourself, how did solving these two separately help us out in any way? Well, if you recall, we have 37 mod 43 and 40 mod 47. That gives us a system of modular congruences that you can solve using the Chinese remainder theorem, which I went over in a previous example video and we have lecture videos on. So that will give us x is congruent to 37 mod 43 and x is congruent to 40 mod 47. And I will leave that to you to solve for homework, but I think this is an interesting solution given the restriction of not having a calculator. So with that out of the way, let's get into our next problem. All right, so for our third problem, we're going to be calculating phi for the following integers. So we're going to start with number one, which is taking phi of 1492. So in order to do this, we are going to want to find the factorization of 1492. And we can do that by dividing it by two to start with, because that is an obvious divisor. So we will have 1492 is equal to 746 times 2, which means we can divide it by 2 again. And that's going to give us 4 times 373. And I will go ahead and tell you that, that it is a prime number. So that means phi of 1492 is going to be equal to 1492 times 1 over 2 times 372 over 373. And we can cancel these denominators, leaving us with 2 on top, which will give us 2 times 1372 as our final answer. And that is equal to 744. And that'll finish off that first one. For number 2, we're going to want to do the same thing. We're going to want to find the divisors of 3030. And we're going to start by dividing by 2. That's going to give us 2 times 15. 15 and 15 15 is obviously divisible by 5 so we're going to divide that by 5 and that's going to give us 2 times 5 times 303 and 303 is obviously divisible by 3 so that'll give us our final factorization of 2 times 5 times 3 times 101 and 101 is indeed prime so for calculating our phi of 3030 we will have 3030 times 1 half times two-thirds, times four-fifths, times 100 over 101. And that is going to give us 800, which finishes that one off. For our last one, we've got kind of a long one, so I'm going to erase this to give us some more space to work with. So we will be taking, for number three, we want to find phi of 154,356. 
Now, to start, we're going to want to test some divisibility rules to see what we can divide out, but I can pretty easily see that the last two digits are divisible by four, so we can take a four out. So 154,356 is equal to four times 38,589. From there, we're going to do a digit sum test to see if it is divisible by three or nine, and indeed it is. 3 plus 8 is 11, plus 5 is 16, plus 8 is 24, plus 9 is 33, which is indeed divisible by 3. So we will take a 3 out of there to get 4 times 3 times 12,836. Now, I don't see any immediate tests that we can use, but if we try some primes out, you will find that that is equal to 4 times 3 times 19 times 677 and we can then write our fee of 154,356 as, as 154,356 times one half times two thirds times 18 over 19 times 676 over 677. And we can see that that is going to give us two times two times 18 times 676, which is going to give us a final answer of 48,672, which finishes this one off. For our last problem, we are going to want to find the last two digits of 17 to the 153 to the 19th. To begin, we're going to use our rule to reduce the power of our exponents, and since we are trying to find the last two digits, we are trying to reduce this 17 to the 153 to the 19 mod 100. So that means we're going to reduce 153 mod phi of 100, and phi of 100 is equal to 40. So 153 reduced mod 40 is going to be congruent to negative 7, which is going to be 33 mod 40. So we're going to have 33 mod 40. And then we want to reduce 19 mod phi of 40. So we have 19 mod phi of 40. Phi of 40 is equal to 16. So reducing 19 mod 16, we are going to get 3. So that gives us 17 to the 33 to the third. From here, we want to reduce the exponent further. So we are going to take 33 and square it and reduce that mod 40. 33 squared is equal to 1089, and that is congruent to 9 mod 40. So we will have 9 times 33. So let me go ahead and write that down. We will have that this is congruent to 17 to the 9 times 33rd power mod 100. And 9 times 33 reduced mod 40 is going to be 17. So that will give us 17 to the 17 mod 100. From here, we're going to take powers of 17 to find our final answer. By taking powers of 17, we know that 17 to the third is congruent to 13 mod 100. So that means we can split the 17 to the 17 up into a bunch of powers of 3. So that will give us 17 to the 17 is congruent to... Now we can fit 5 copies of 13 in here. So we will have 1, 2, 3, 4... 5 13s, and then 2 17s. Now, we know that 13 to the third is congruent to negative 3 mod 100. So that means we can rewrite three of these 13s as negative 3. So we'll have negative 3 times 13 times 13 times 17 times 17. And the uh, 13 squared times 17 squared reduces to 41 mod 100. So that will leave us with negative 3 times 41 mod 100, which will give us negative 128, which is just negative 28 mod 100, and negative 28 is congruent to 72 mod 100, which is our final answer. And that's a good place to stop.